Tonight we've got a fun project, okay? We're not working with wood tonight. We're gonna do, well, I guess we are working technically with wood because I have a skewer, but that's about it for wood. <laughs> now, saying that, I just thought of some cool things I could do with this, but that's not what the plan is. <laughs> That's what happens every time I start crafting. My mind goes on to other things. But I'm just going to bring us up on the page, make sure we are live on the right page here. As you're jumping in, of course, give me the hashtag live. Let me know that you're there and that you're, you're jumping in on the conversation. Make sure my volume is absolutely down. Okay, who's ready to get crafting? So if you saw our, I believe it was a story yesterday, I sent Brittany out shopping. So she had to do a run to the Dollar Tree where she picked me up some buckets. They came in a two pack. Hi, Wendy. They came in a two pack. I must admit, I was hoping for a little metal one, but she came back with plastic ones. And like I said, it was a two pack. So I wasn't sure if hot glue was going to work on this, but it does, okay, because I jumped in and I tried because I didn't want this to be a totally hot mess, right? So you'll need a bucket of some sort. We got some twine. Now this twine, you can buy twine at the dollar store. Um, this one I happened to pick up at our hardware store a while ago because I go through a lot of twine. So we just bought it in a great big roll. She picked me up some of these little foam squares. And of course, some reindeer moss. This stuff is gonna be so handy for quite a few projects. I might need a few more bags, Brittany, just saying. And then we grabbed our pumpkin stack from off the website, but you can pick these up in a lot of places if, uh, if you didn't get one from us. Mind you, there is a few left on the website. So to start off with, we're gonna grab our hot glue, which I hope is, whoop, yep, it's hot. It's dripping over here. We're going to start off with the hot glue and the twine and we're just going to turn this bucket into something cool and rustic by wrapping twine all around it okay now if you've got a metal bucket and you really like the color and it matches well with your pumpkins which navy blue by the way guys this year is a hot color for fall um i could have went with it but i'm really looking for that rustic look this time so we're going to start off with at the base you're going to take a little bit of hot glue and you're just gonna take your twine to it. Now I've already started one because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work to start off with. And I wanted to, um, you know, not have you sit here for the hour while I twined, you know, twine around this. So my fingers are actually already covered with hot glue because I didn't have my fingertip with me. So make sure you do that because it, it kind of hurts. <laughs> so you're just gonna take a little glue and you're gonna wrap your twine. Now, the bottom row, you have to do a lot to it, like a lot of glue, and the top row, you have to do a lot of glue, but in between, you're just gonna hit it once or twice in little spots, and it's just gonna kinda of hold it there, okay? So, I'm not sure if I'm seeing comments. I saw Wendy jumped on, but then I didn't really see anything after that, so let me see if I can bring something up. Okay, Wendy said hello, and Cheryl is here. Joe is here. Hi, Joe. Brittany's in the house. And uh, Christine is here. So we've got quite a few people on tonight. Okay. So that is our first trip around the bend. Okay. We've went all the way around. Now you just kind of push it down. Make sure you got it really good at that where it's going to join up with the original, you know, starter point. And then you're just going to hit a few little spots. So I do it about a half an inch of glue. And then you really wanna make sure you're pressing it down into your original roll, okay? So another little spot. And then again, pressing it right down in there tight. And that's where your little, your little fingertips will come in handy, okay? So you're just gonna keep doing this. And I can tell you from the one that I've already started, which I'm gonna set this aside because you're just gonna keep wrapping it. It's really simple, okay? I'm gonna set that one aside and I'm gonna bring this one over. It took me probably about a half an hour to do this, guys. So now I'm at the top of my row. And at this point, you're gonna wanna decide, do you want your handle still if you got one with a handle? I personally don't. So with the plastic ones, 
I'm hoping I can just pop it off just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna continue, I better stick my finger back on. Where did I leave off? Just up here, I've got like one little row left and then we're gonna have to go up and over the edge because I don't want that blue edge. Now mind you, my reindeer moss might cover it up anyways, but I just wanna make sure I've got good coverage there. So. At the top row though, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a lot of glue, like almost all the way around, if not all the way, because you don't want that to start buckling and catching on stuff, right? See, and I have it on the wrong finger. I'm sticking my thumb in the glue, even though I've got a fingertip on, so. Figure out what finger you stick in the glue most. All right. There we are. Now, I think I can still get one more on there, right on the edge. The good news is, is if you get a little too much glue, it'll pick off after. Let's just stick it on there. How's everybody doing? Have you guys wrapped buckets with twine yet? Is this, is this like old news? You guys have seen this part before. Maybe you've even done this project. I found it on Pinterest and I just thought it was too cute that I had to do it. All right, so now I'm right up on the edge. And I think I'm gonna end it right there where I've got this little nubby sticking up. I did think about cutting them off. See, maybe I should have had a few fingers. I'm sticking my fingers all over the place. I'm just gonna stick a little wad in there. Now, if you get to the upside edge and you don't have something to hide it behind like that, you can just press it, kind of tuck it down inside your string or in the inside of your bucket. Nobody's gonna notice it. All right, so we're gonna chop that off. Get that out of the way. Okay. Seriously, like no matter which finger I put it on, I think I need all five on. <laughs> Hot glue mask, man. All right. Leanne is with us. Oh, I'm backwards. It's not the first time I've been told that, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Let's flip it around. There we go. Okay. So we've got our bucket covered with twine. Now there's a few spots that I have glue, but you can just go through if it's really bugging you and pick those little spots off. Um, with the twine, it pulls off really easily. It might take off a little bit of the fuzz, but it's it's no big deal. I want it to look rough and shabby, but that one's looking pretty good. All right, next thing is we're gonna take our foam squares. I don't know about you guys, but this stuff kind of gives me cold chills. And I'm going to take it, a wad of hot glue, and I'm just going to just give a good drizzle down there. Make sure I still have that on. And I'm going to stick my block in this way because it's a very tall bucket. So it's just stuck in there like that. Then I'm going to take another wad of glue and I'm going to run it all over that top of that square. I might need another glue stick and I don't know if I grabbed one. And I'm going to take that one and I'm going to set it right on top like so. Just press it in there. Now, excuse me one second while I grab another hot glue stick or two just for backup. Sorry about that. And now I'm going to take my pumpkin, rip off my tag, and I'm just going to take a skewer and I'm going to run it up the center because these guys are styrofoam. And I might have to cut off a little bit of my skewer. I'm just gonna jam them down into place. I thought about hot gluing them on there, but to be totally honest, I might wanna use this for other things. So 
I thought the skewer was the best way to go because this way when the season changes, I can just pop them out. Now for the messy part. How are we doing everybody? We're gonna take, and the moss is so messy, but I find when you buy it at the craft store, sometimes it's a little fluffier than what it is when you buy it in the dollar store. And maybe that's just the way it is, but I want it kind of fluffed up a bit. So I'm just gonna kind of open it up and I'm just gonna tuck it in there. And again, I'm gonna stick some over here. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of glue. Let's lift this up a bit. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of glue on the edge of this square. Because I want that moss to cover up that square really, really well. So I'm just gonna take a little more of the loose stuff and just kind of cover up the edging of my square. Just going to continue working my way around. A little bit there. Woo! Hot mess. <laughs> so, are you starting to decorate for fall? It is officially September and we can get at it. I have been dying to do my fall decor. Fall has got to be my favorite time of year. Who else is a huge fan of fall? I know Brittany was getting it out the other day. She's still in here. I'm not sure if she managed to get all her decor out or if she's just looking through her bins at this point. I haven't even brought mine down yet. We were talking about beads today and I was like, I'm sure. Ooh, that was hot. I'm sure I had more fall stuff and it's got to be in a bin upstairs. We're going to have to dig that down maybe tomorrow or this weekend. So I'm just making sure I got that all covered up there. Oops, a little string of glue. There we go. Isn't that cute? And you can add as much or as little of you that you want of the moss. It's a messy job. If you can go outside to do it, you might be better off. I'm just going to have to lie this down here for a second. I want to get a little wad in there because I have a space. And it's just going to want to drop down. So if I stick a little wad of glue, it's not on the pumpkin. It's just on the foam. I can take a little... Bit bigger of a chunk like that and just tuck it in there and I kind of like having pieces that stick out maybe not quite that chunky but kind of pull it apart as you want but I do want that very organic look to it so now when I was saying at the beginning that I wasn't gonna have any wood on this I got realizing as soon as I said it, you know what would look really cute is to have a little tag hanging down the side. So we might have to come back tomorrow and do that. Now I've got those two little blue spots. I'm just gonna cover them up with some glue and some of the moss just to blend it all in. And then I can just tuck a little bit more in there. It's just at this point, whatever you think looks cute. There we go. Now, how's that for a quick and easy project? And I think it's going to look really adorable. Oh, I can see I have a little bit of gap there. You can also pick which side you like better, whichever way. Like I have mine leaning a bit. Let's see if we can find our best side. That is probably my favorite side, I think. It's a little leaning. I'll probably straighten them out then. Maybe that would help. There we go. 
That's better. Now it's all good sides. <laughs> Quick, easy fix. Okay, I'm going to take a little more moss over on this side and just cover up a little bald patch. There we go. So what do you think? Do we like this project? It's quick, it's easy, it's inexpensive. And if you want, you could always paint your pumpkins too. Because we could easily change that out. And do I have my other ones here? Yeah, we could stick these ones on a skewer or you could just set them there. And that looks really pretty too. So depending on your decor, if you're not into the orange pumpkins, this one is actually accounted for. I painted that one and decoupaged it a couple weeks ago. But my other daughter, Christina, was here just the other day. And she's like, um, Mom, when you're done that second coat of top coat, I want that. <laughs> so that one's accounted for. So this one, I think, is going to be my centerpiece on my table, which is going to look absolutely gorgeous, I think. What do you guys think? Quick, easy project. So we used a Dollar Tree um, bucket. Twine you can get from the Dollar Tree as well. The moss is from the Dollar Tree and so is the foam. And then I'm not sure if you can get those at the Dollar Tree or not, but if not, we have those up on the website. So that is our beautiful centerpiece. I really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until the next time, thanks for watching.